Hi guys, welcome back to your channel technical file. Guys, in this video we will see how to install Flask panel on command line interface Linux based Ubuntu server. So the minimum requirements you need to have in your server in order to install Flask. Uh, 1 GB of RAM uh, in case of Linux and in case of Windows I guess 2 GB of RAM and 10 GB of disk space. So I have a fresh server deployed in which we are gonna perform this installation. So I am connecting it through PuTTY. Here are my credentials. So now we have logged in into our server. So our first thing is to do is update the packages. Don't worry about these commands. I will provide in the description of this video. So you just need to do copy and paste into the terminal like I did. And press enter. Now our packages has been updated. Now we need to allow these firewall ports. After that we need to copy this command uh, which will download the installer file in our server. After that we need to change permissions for this installer file and after that we need to run this command to execute our installer file. We need to press F and press enter, press Y and enter. Again we need to press F and enter. I think this will ask one more time to press F. All the times you need to go forward by pressing F and enter. I think this is the last input it takes from us. Now it will take some time to install all the libraries of plus in our server. So till then I am fast forwarding this video. So guys as you can see our flask has been installed successfully. Now we need to copy this URL and paste it into our browser. And press enter. Now we need to enter some of our details here. And the password we click on generate and copy this password. And if you want to reset the password for the admin on the next login you can check this option. Right now I am not checking this option. And in the license section if you want to go with the paid license you can check this option otherwise the Plesk panel itself provide a 15 day of free trial license. So you don't need to purchase for the first 15 days. You can activate the trial. So you can check this option and check it here and enter Plesk. Now again it will take some time to install and set up the things.
So as, as you can see, our Flask has been installed into our Linux based server using the commands and it is initializing some packages. This is for the first time. After that, when you log in it again, it will not, it will not run these processes again. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.